Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and hello if you are new, thank you so much for clicking on the video. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a Charlotte Tilbury haul video. So I basically did way too much shopping on Charlotte Tilbury. I ordered quite a lot, so I thought I would do like a Charlotte Tilbury makeup haul because I know people love to see kind of makeup hauls. I didn't buy any makeup from any other brands other than Charlotte Tilbury, so I have a whole shit ton of stuff in this box to go through which i ordered some of it is new and some of it isn't it's just like a normal collection so yeah if you're wondering why my makeup is a little bit more dramatic than it usually is that's because i just literally filmed my shane dawson palette review the conspiracy palette so if you wanted to see how i got this kind of makeup and also my review on the shane dawson x jeffree star palette then i'll link that video in the down bar because that was the last video that i posted if you haven't already seen that go and check that out so yeah as you can see I went a bit mad on Charlotte Tilbury. I ordered quite a lot of stuff. It came to like a hell of a lot of money. But um, I needed it and I wanted it. So I ordered it. So yeah. So the first thing that I ordered, which is actually a repurchase, is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. If you watch my videos regularly, you will know that I absolutely love this product. This is my moisturiser that I use every single day. I use it before my makeup. It just works as a really nice base for makeup. If you haven't already tried it, I would really recommend trying it because it is really, really lovely. It is probably a little bit overpriced and overhyped. I would say it's probably not as good as the money, as in like this is £70. So... I mean, it is quite a lot of money for a moisturiser, but if you're looking for a moisturiser that's really going to plump your skin, give you a little bit of SPF, but also works well before makeup, then this one is really, really lovely. And they do actually do a smaller size for £49 if you wanted to try out the smaller size. So I repurchased this because I'm coming to the end of my one that I've got on the go at the moment. So I'm going to need a new one soon. So I got one of those. The next product that was actually another repurchase is actually the Bronze and Glow. So I picked up the Bronze and Glow in the shade Light to Medium. This is my favourite bronzer of all time. The bronzer shade in here, which is also can be used as a contour, is just the best shade for me that I've probably ever found. Um, I do have other ones that I like, but this one, I just always seem to go back to it and always love it. And every time I wear it, I just feel like my bronzer just looks really smooth and really nice. This is how it comes as well. Like The packaging is honestly like so beautiful. Like The way she packages things is just amazing so this is what the bronzer and highlighter looks like obviously you've got the bronzer here and the highlighter here if i'm going to be honest i rarely use the highlighter just because it's quite a natural highlight i often switch out the highlight for another one and i literally just use the bronzer in here it's a bit annoying that i have to keep buying the whole thing even when i only really want it for the bronzer but i will still do that because i love the bronzer so much and this is 49 pounds so again it's quite expensive i actually got like a shit ton of lipsticks so i'm just gonna really quickly run through those before i get on to the rest of the products because i literally have nine lipsticks i ordered nine lipsticks what the hell is wrong with me i do i need nine new lipsticks not really so i actually ordered a bunch of the new hot lips 2 collection lipsticks these launched about two or three months ago now these lipsticks are all kind of named after and inspired by celebrities or people in charlotte's life that she's done makeup on so for example i have dance for princess here that is inspired by kylie minogue we have glowing jen as well which is inspired by jennifer allison so that like, you get the idea they're kind of all inspired by people that she's done makeup on so um yeah i picked up five of the new ones of these i already have two i already have jk magic and in love with olivia but i wanted more so i picked them up my favorite shade from the whole collection is this one this one is called glowing gen by the way packaging of these as well like how they come so they come in this slidey thing and you basically just pop out the lipstick and they come in this cool like custom packaging which they all are different. This one is obviously the leopard print one. This is the shade Glowing Gen, which I've got here, which is a really beautiful kind of pinky brownie nude. It's very different from like quite a lot of lipsticks that I already own. That is it swatch there. That is Glowing Gen. Honestly feel like this is about to become my new favourite lipstick because I honestly love colours like this. They just look so, so good. I also picked up Angel Alessandra as well. This one comes in this cool kind of like, it looks like almost like circus inspired packaging to me. It's kind of got these like red stripes with this kind of pamphlet thing animal kind of on the top and bottom i actually really do like the packaging of this one as well and this is angel alessandra it's kind of like a pinky nude 
but this one has more of an orangey tone underneath it as well. I don't know if you can see. So that is the Angel Alessandra there. And this one is going to be, again, really, really good for kind of every day. It's a really nice neutral tone that you can wear with kind of any eye look, which is why I feel like I'm going to get a lot of wear out of that one. Then I also picked up Dance for Princess. Dance for Princess is quite similar to the last one, the Angel Alessandra. This one has got the red leopard print packaging kind of like cheetah packaging but this one is a little bit more of a baby pink so this is like your typical baby pink this one doesn't have much orange to it so the other one was more of a corally pink this one is like more of a true kind of like almost bubblegum pink it's a really pretty shade again perfect from like more natural days more sort of like if you're wearing like a heavy eye this would look perfect by the way um these retail for 28 pounds these lipsticks but they are refillable so you can buy the refills for uh, 19 pounds then i did pick up some more kind of like darker shades because i wanted something a little bit more autumnal and a little bit christmasy as well so i picked up the shade amazing amal which this one comes in this really cool kind of gold and black stripe packaging this one is really really nice as well and this is what this one looks like this one is like a really pretty kind of reddish fuchsia-ish plum i would describe this as and this one is a matte finish all of the last three have been kissing formula which is actually a shiny finish this one is from the matte revolution collection so this one is a matte lipstick so that is that one there, amazing amount. I do prefer like more darker lipsticks in matte formulas because I feel like they just stick to the lips better and you're less likely to have it kind of move around. So I feel like with the darker colours, I do prefer them to be matte anyway. So I'm glad this one is matte. And then last for the Hot Lips 2 collection, we have Red Hot Susan. This one is also in the Cheetah packaging. So the same as Glow and Gen. And this one is like a really beautiful reddish orangey kind of bricky shade this one is actually very unique i don't really have another lipstick like this one so i'm quite excited to have this in my collection but as you can see there it's like a really orangey toned red and i feel like for christmas so like if you just do like a winged liner lashes and then this this will look amazing and i have tried this one on before and it actually doesn't make your teeth look yellow which you would think it would so that one is really nice as well and that one is also in a matte formula by the way that is how you pop them out to like refill them so if you want to buy a refill you can literally just pop that out and buy just that which is £19. But obviously to buy the whole case, it's £28. So I actually picked up three. I didn't realise I ordered this many. I thought I only ordered one or two. But I actually ordered three of the Supermodel Brow Pencil. If you watch my videos regularly, you will know that this is actually the only brow pencil that I ever used. I don't use anything else in my brows other than this. So this is a double-ended. On one side, you have a angled pencil. And then on the other side, you have a spoolie. This shade, fits my brows perfectly like I've never found a brow pencil that actually sort of like matches my brow hairs really really well usually they run too warm and too sort of red for my brows because I have quite neutral grayish tone brows this one I absolutely love I love the formula I love how to apply it it's so easy so quick you've got the spoolie on the other end that you can quickly turn around and just brush through and it's just my favorite brow product ever so I wanted to stock up which is why I ordered three so this will literally last me like another year probably I would definitely recommend trying this brow pencil if you're looking for a new one it's honestly amazing and then I did just pick up two of the Pillow Talk lip liners as well. This is my favourite lip liner. Formula and shade, I use it literally in pretty much every single video. So I'm not going to get these out because everyone knows what Pillow Talk lip liner looks like. But I did just stock up on two of these as well because I absolutely love this lip liner and I can't live without it. I have about three on the go already, but they're kind of like coming to the end. And I also like to keep these in like literally every single handbag I have because I can't live without it. So yeah. Yeah, wanted to stock up on those as well. And now I'm moving back on to some more lipsticks. I literally have four more lipsticks to show you and then that is it for the haul. So first lipstick I have is from the original um, Hot Lips collection. This box came a bit squashed actually, which is a little bit annoying. I mean, I'm gonna get rid of the box anyway, but if you wanted to like gift it, then that's a bit annoying that it's squashed. But this one is in the shade Live It Up, which I've been wanting to get this lipstick for literally forever, but I just haven't ordered it. I don't know why. So I ordered it this time. It's this really pretty pale bubblegum pink. This is literally like 
Barbie. Like this shade should literally be called Barbie in my opinion because it's like such a Barbie pink. So it's that shade there. I don't usually wear shades that kind of pink. I usually go a little bit more nude or a little bit more brown. But I did really want to try this because I feel like some looks, it looks really nice with a more pinky lipstick. And I don't actually have that many pink lipsticks. So yeah, I'm really pleased I've got that in my collection now. Can't wait to use that. And also that one looks really nice with the Pillow Talk lip liner as well. So, so the next lipstick is also from the original Hot Lips collection. And this one is in the shade Kim KW, which is obviously Kim Kardashian West kind of like inspired shade this one is like really talked about online this one is like your typical beigey pale 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 nude so for me I actually wouldn't wear this one usually on its own I would only use it kind of in the center of the lips just when you want to give like a little bit of an ombre effect this one is really nice to pop in the center because it is very pale I wouldn't really wear this all over my lips I just feel like it just wouldn't suit me so that is Kim KW there it's a really really Really, really beautiful shade. If you guys wanted me to do like an updated Charlotte Tilbury lipstick collection, because I have actually filmed one of those before, but now I've obviously got all of these new lipsticks, then do let me know because I can definitely film that if you wanted to see how these actually look on. If you wanted to sort of think about like purchasing any, I can definitely film a sort of part two because obviously I've got like a shit ton of new lipsticks from them. So let me know if you want to see that video. I can definitely film that. Next we have Penelope Pink. So this is very similar to Kim KW, but this one is a little bit darker, a little bit more pink as well as opposed to beige this one is talked about a lot online also so that is Penelope pink there it's a really beautiful pinky beige nude this one is a little bit more wearable I would say than Kim KW but again it's still quite pale so you would still probably have to wear like a little bit of a lip liner or another lipstick around it to sort of blend it in but that is Penelope pink there it's a really 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 beautiful shade and then last but not least I actually have one of the Charlotte Tilbury super Superstar lips. I've not had one of these before. This one is in the shade Pillow Talk, so it is the same colour as the Pillow Talk liner and the lipstick. But this is actually a skinny kind of lipstick that is almost more of a lip balm as opposed to a lipstick, so it's kind of sheer and very shiny as well. So this again is really good for kind of every day. It's obviously the Pillow Talk shade, but just a little bit more sheer and also shiny and moisturising as well. That is what the lipstick looks like. Obviously it's in this really nice cigarette kind of style packaging which I love. And then that is the Pillow Talk Superstar lip shade there. So yeah, really, really beautiful. This one is £25 as well. And all of the other lipsticks are £25 if they're not in the sort of custom cool packaging that you saw. Right, so that is pretty much it, guys. That is everything that I have from Charlotte Tilbury. If you do enjoy these kind of like makeup haul videos, do let me know by giving the video a like or commenting down below because I can definitely film more if you kind of like this style of video. Please give the video a like if you did enjoy it and also subscribe if you haven't already. That would be amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.